What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Oh look, it's a tour show. Today we're doing a toolbox review of old PTT's setup. I've had a lot of comments um, asking when I'm going to do a toolbox walkthrough. I don't have a big snap-on huge monstrosity which you don't need. I'm not buying every tool in existence. Um, just what I need to do my job. I bought this box, this section, probably, I would say maybe like 16 years ago. And then a few years later after that, I bought the um, side cabinet. Uh, just give me a little extra room. Um, but yeah, let's start off in the top drawer. Um, started with the butcher block. Um, I thought that was a nice topper um, instead of the metal one. You can do, you know, any type of uh, fine repairs, electrical, if I'm soldering or something. Question everybody asks themselves: Why? Some quick notes, so I can on the fly just remember. Obviously, you can see that one's been on here for a while. Um, Got to remember. Extended service plan, plan, prior approval when we're doing repairs. Um, but yeah, so let's check it out. Uh, my top drawer may look a little scarce. Um, I do work out of this every day. Um, this home base is more or less for specialty equipment and stuff that I don't use every day. Um, top drawer, obviously you guys can see, is a bunch of sockets. Quarter inch, three eighths, half. Uh, metric standard. I uh, don't have a lot of 12 points, just six points, just some uh, specialty stuff. If you're taking the connecting rods off of your 6.7, I just had, why am I going to buy a whole set when I just need one? Like, I uh, don't agree with some of that stuff. Um, ARP head studs, just to make sure we have some, and if one breaks, we got uh, backup. You guys can see the the stuff still in there from the, the nuts. Um, yeah, just going through half inch stuff. Uh, what do we got here? These are for like if you're doing taps and stuff. I use this one a lot. So I got it sticking up a little bit. Um, 7.3. 7.3. This is the only tool I use this for. This is a 7.3. The pipe, <coughs> excuse me, that goes in top of the water pump. So pipe that's no bullshit this big um, and I have to take that out when I'm doing a high pressure pump um, there's a bolt in a little window that uh, this pipe is in the way that you have to open up so this socket takes that big boy out um, one of my customers uh, um, pry bars Something I don't keep out all the time because it's a specialty tool. Um, love it. Milwaukee, Milwaukee, where you at? Uh, rocking you guys' stuff all the time. 6-7 oil pans, love it. Uh, keeps that cramp down from uh, happening in your arm because that, that shit's, uh, that shit takes forever. You guys can see back here, IPR socket. Um, that's not one that I use all the time. Got some, some, uh, one of my first air ratchets, quarter drive, sorry. Uh, don't really use that anymore. Um, like I said, specialty equipment. That brings us uh, to our torque wrenches. Got a quarter drive, three eighths head though. Um, we had some recalls for checking the uh, crank bolt on V10's um, good universal pulley adapter holder for pretty much the crankshaft um, and then I got pretty much my favorite torque wrench I do like this one this is one of the first ones I bought um, I like it it's got a flex head on it just a little flex head uh, makes it really nice when you're doing the uh, torque on our head head bolts um, that's pretty much pretty much it for the top drawer like I said I don't really god damn I don't really uh, don't really come in here a lot. Just miscellaneous stuff. Um, next drawer, got some ranches. 
Um, belt tool, don't use that every day. Um, like I said, just come in here on a need to know basis. Um, 6 0 Econoline van, set it up, ready to go. Um, if you guys got some cab bolts that are spun on your 6 4 or 6 7, I, uh, crap, Crapsman made uh, just a little bend here so I can get up underneath that uh, core support and hold my my uh, cage nut. Um, nothing really else special in here. Um, um, straight edge. Check in 6.0 head flatness. Um, calibrated. Just keep it nice and safe up in here. And the next drawer. Drawer 2. Our pliers. Um, scraping our heads. Don't really use that anymore. Um, Got to get one of these. Uh, definitely a, a goodie if you can't get your pliers on your hose clamp. Uh, it makes makes for a real a real dream. Got to have a set of Texas tweezers. Uh, some stuff I don't use. Snap on. Useless. I don't know really why I bought this. I was trying to get a different set of wire strippers, but yeah. If it's in the toolbox, I don't use a lot. So uh, yeah. When you're replacing your rings on your impact drivers, your little collar ring, this is a tool to replace that little, that little, uh, what's the name for it? Just locking ring, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's uh, the second drawer. Third drawer is our specialty drawer. Oh, look at that. Look what we got here. Limitless Auto Works, man. Love them. One of my subs sent me uh, this cool setup uh, for checking 6.0 oil, uh, oil uh, fuel pressure, cap, gauge. Hell yeah, thanks Mr. Rich. Um, haven't used it yet, I'm definitely gonna use it and I will showcase you guys, uh, showcase that on the channel when I use it. Um, like I said, specialty drawer, got the compression tester, um, probably ask me what, what, what one do you use? This is the one I use. Um, gotta have our rivet, hand rivet gun for our Vista sunroofs. Um, yeah. Got uh, some left handed drill bit extractors. Um, stuff for when your bolt heads are rounded off. I definitely would advise you guys getting these. These are freaking awesome. Uh, when you have really small bolts that are rounded off, man, check those out. I frequent this row a lot. Um, you can see my eight millies and stuff are really used up. Definitely like it, it was a couple hundred bucks, but definitely it saved me uh, some time and energy with removing some broken stuff. Um, gotta have an exhaust spreader. Haven't used this in, I don't know, probably like 10 years. That was back, uh, back when it was the 05, 06 Tauruses with a flex pipe and cat replacement. Had to have one of those. Gotta have a seal puller. Gotta have one of those. Um, anybody who does 6 over work, you know, probably should recognize one of these. This is how you pull your glow plug harnesses out. The original one, this is the original one, or the correct way the tool is supposed to look, and it actually busted. Um, so I took the tool that busted and made, I think, it a little more improved. I don't know why you would want your finger to be smashed up against the valve cover, so I put two feet on it and put the loop the other way around so that I can pull out and not have to pull, I don't know, I don't. that's not very ergonomic. So I use the one that I always made all the time. Um, a pipe sensor in your EGR, for your EGR sensor on your 6.4, um, had to do that a bunch of times, that saved me. Um, I feel like I'm taking forever to show you guys everything, um, but you guys can zip through it. Um, just miscellaneous stuff you guys, uh, I know it looks kind of kind of messy, but uh, it's all organized chaos. Um, yeah, next drawer. Fourth drawer down used to be all my air tools. Um, 
but that since has changed. Um, definitely, you guys can see I have a variety of stuff. Uh, Mac, Snap-on, Matco, a lot of corn Cornwall stuff. Um, Cornwall and Matco are the only ones that seem to show up every week. I don't know, Mac has fell off the earth. Snap-on, you can't count on them. Um, drill, slide hammer, um, yeah, just miscellaneous BS in here. Got some wheel locks. Uh, I don't know if you guys use use those power steering Teflon O-rings. I always use those when I'm taking cabs off. Um, but like I said, don't really go in that drawer a lot. That brings us down to the fifth drawer. Messy electrical drawer, home base. Don't forget, um, gotta have one of these. Um, miscellaneous connectors every BCM that I do I take all the fuses out so I got a good collection of old fuses and new fuses even these these uh, tiny tiny ones these new ones um, what else I got in here I got my first um, test light that I made in auto class thought it was kind of a relic to hold on to we had to put some diodes and stuff in here and um, one would let you know if it was ground one would let you know if you had power so it's a piece of wood I had to drill it out and um, yeah I thought it was kind of cool to hang on to <coughs> moving right along like I said miscellaneous connectors um, if you want to test your 7.3 glow plug harness or glow plugs rather not harness uh, this is what you plug into the um, valve cover gasket. You guys can check that out online. The uh, the colored ones are glow plugs, or the white one. The white ones are glow plugs. The colored ones are our injectors. Only use that when our seven threes come in. Um, Got to have a trailer, seven pin tester, four pin tester. Um, got some twisted pair, um, just wire in case I have to run a, a jumper for something. Got some keys, anybody need any keys for their uh, Fiesta? Cause I don't. Yeah, fifth drawer, done. Pulls us at the bottom, middle bank, bottom drawer, uh, again, some test stuff. Uh, every every uh, vehicle that I work on, I write down a brief note and uh, how much I get paid on it, what I did, um, and we got quite a quite a few years here. Um, looking back, just to help me jog my memory. Um, right now, I'm on my fourth book. Got a pretty sweet um, power steering cooler. Use it to take our EcoBoost off. Works well. One of the first things I bought was that uh, Mighty Vac vacuum pump, uh, hand pump you guys saw in my 6-7 uh, video. Gotta have an air saw, cut, cut through some plastic, some, some BS. Got it, no big deal, got my my master power pro kit but uh, I don't keep that in here um, all right got to give a shout out to my boys over at Pro Max this is one of the first Pro Max things I had to buy and this is the kit to fix your 6.4 turbo up pipe um, if they break off in the turbo they got a, a pretty nice plate for you to use this is called the Rosina, and um, yeah, it's been sitting here for a minute. Don't use that a whole lot. And then uh, we got one of these things to remove the broken spark plugs out of your 5.4. Gotta have one of those too. Come over here to the top right side, got all of our screwdrivers. Don't really uh, go in that drawer too often. Miscellaneous junk drawer, pens, garage door opener. Real quick, I don't want to grab IDS. I just want to know what the code is. Um, yeah, 
sunglasses, safety glasses, little baggies, contact solution for those hot days because those boys get hot. Um, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much the, uh, everybody's got a drunk drawer. Don't tell me you guys don't got a drunk drawer. Third drawer down, kind of another drunk drawer. Uh, but, oh yeah, look at that. Um, this is kind of like miscellaneous going through here, just, you know, washers, extra keys, where I keep my change. Anybody know what these are? W3012s. Uh, what else do we got here that you guys know? Anybody know what these are? Come on, yeah you do. Anybody know what these are for you seven threeers? Uh, what else, what else do we got here? Ooh. What about that, huh? 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 Um, yeah. Junk. Like I said, come on. Organized chaos. I know where everything's at. That's all that matters. Oh, one more. When it's hot, you gotta have a little bit of fun. Just a little bit of fun. Big boy drawer down here. Uh, just some specialty stuff. Still got to show you guys this. Um, pretty sweet. I'd highly recommend it. Um, it is a mini ductor, uh, inductive heat probe. Um, I don't want to show you guys too much on that. I'll save that for another video. Definitely, definitely worth it. Um, moving right along to this one, we got a back pressure tester kit. Definitely had to use this a bunch of times, um, making sure. You know, our cats aren't plugged, only for gasoline jobs though. Um, cooling system pressure tester. This is what I use for all my diesels and my cars. Um, same old, same old. I don't use this at all. This is an adapter I don't use. Um, but the adapter I had to buy for 7 you need this. If you're going to check the secondary cooling system pressure on your 6.7, you need this bad lad. Um, is there a number on this? Yeah. Right there. And then if you need to test the coolant on these newer, like, four-cylinder cars, you're going to look at something like this. Escapes. Um, yeah. Smaller. Again, I'm not going to buy a whole kit because I'm not doing GMs or anything. Um, I actually bought it in 2016, so I've had that for a little bit. Um, that's pretty much it in this drawer. I like to keep everything nice and neat, try to maximize my space that I have in every drawer. All about organization. Some may not think so, but uh, it is definitely essential for what I do every day. Uh, I'm gonna be honest right now, I don't even know what this is, I forgot. Let's see, I still don't remember. I still don't remember, what the hell is this? I still don't remember right now. What is this? Oh, a rivet gun that I can't use because the tip's too big. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't remember. Um, use this a couple times, cylinder leakage tool, um, CNG, Econolines, that's what I was using that for. Um, definitely if you got to check oil pressure, whether it would be trans or engine oil, you're going to definitely need one of these. So, um, I remember old timers telling me when I first started, you know, I was like, hey, can I borrow this? No problem. You got two more, and then you gotta buy it yourself. You borrow something three times, and then you gotta buy it. Obviously, you know, take that with a grain of salt, but, you know, I'm sure they were just trying to instill good values and, you know, either figure it out or buy the tools yourself, but. So, yeah, that's that side. We got a uh, personal drawer. Da 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 da. Got some fuel line hose, some D rings. Gotta have a mic, check your brakes. Um, if you're uh, soldering stuff or heat shrinking. 
Another power steering pulley, puller, stuff I really don't use. Um, you guys use these EGR brushes to clean your EGR valve in your 6.4? Yeah, probably not. Um, yeah. Oh, wrong drawer. Fourth drawer down. Hammers, hammer dues. Um, what the hell is this? Oh, if you got uh, wheel locks with no key. Had a bunch of those when I worked on the quick lane many moons ago. Oh, does anybody remember these? Uh, a long, long, long time ago. Um, if anybody can guess that, I'm going to pick random one commenter and I'm going to send you a handful of stickers. Hell yeah. Fifth drawer down. One of the other first things I bought uh, when I went on my own was a master fuel pressure test kit. You can't do any drivability without having a master fuel pressure test kit. Uh, there's no guessing. You need to know what fuel pressure is. No if, ands, or booties. Oil leaks. You need to check your oil. Leak point. Hey, check it with this UV light. Um, put some put some dye in your in your truck. Get your uh, get your uh, your goggles on. Your What's that dude's name? Get up off that thing! That guy. Get up off that thing! And uh, yeah, the next next drawer down, gotta have a test IDM. If I gotta stick my paws in the fuel tank, I ain't trying to be smelling like fuel. Thanks, JWK. Um, gotta have one of these, it's kind of an oldie. I know they've come out with something way better than when I bought this, but got to have a uh, bore scope. Um, this bag here, I keep all my pullers, like if I'm doing, uh, uh, taking a downpipe off of a 650-750, I use my slide hammer to take it off. Um, just miscellaneous accoutrement to get some of this stuff off. The last drawer in the toolbox, no I don't have it anymore, is kind of just some spare stuff. Don't really use this anymore, it's just a backup. Uh, spring spring compressor, valve spring compressor, universal, it's not just for Ford. Um, but uh, I got just a bunch of spark plugs, connectors that came with harnesses. A um, bunch of O-rings, you know, from like fuel filters, a lot of fuel systems. Like when you do when you do engines and fuel systems, a lot of the parts you get that come in the kits are doubles and then you have stuff just left over and that's kind of kind of what all this is. Got some test mass airflow sensors, test map sensors. Um, I'll put this out here, like, I mean, I know this looks kind of unorganized and I don't know how you know what you have if you guys need anything I do not sell parts let me say that again I do not sell parts but if you guys need something gaskets or some type of weirdness hey drop me a DM get at me look me up all right we're moving over to the side cart this is it nothing special so what I use every day. You guys see this in the videos all the time. Yeah, that's what I use every day. You can see all the sockets. It's pretty much how I have it set up. Um, quarter, three-eighths, half, zero to 100. Just kidding. Um, stuff that I'm gonna need. Knock sensors, oxygen sensors, uh, air leak testing, IPRs, fuel. RIP to Diesel Tech Rom. This is, he is the only reason why I have this particular one is because it is the exact same one he had. Uh, he is what uh, started me off on this and actually Milwaukee because I saw him him using that. Uh, trimmed down a special 27 milli for ICP uh, under the old uh, turbocharger there when you're working on an O tree. Definitely like this. This is something I use quite often. Quarter drive, long boy. 
definitely dig that. Um, definitely all the wobbles. Definitely like all these quarter drive wobbles from Cornwell. Cornwell, the whole tray lifts up in his magnet. Um, definitely like that. Keep all my batteries primed, cycle them through. Trim tools, the screwdrivers I use the most. I keep a magnet tucked right up in here. Um, all my extensions and shit sit right here. Drawer. We're looking, uh, some wrenches, pliers, all the stuff again that I use every day. Picked these up from Cornwell a little while ago. Definitely love these. Ratcheting. Flex head. Love them. Second drawer is my very organized electrical drawer. Um, electrical to me is one of the most important things about the vehicles we have to work on. Um, it's very time consuming, can be very technical, can be a real pain in the ass. Oh, but each time I do electrical, I'm not going to lie, I mean, I learn every time I do electrical, it's like, oh, I have a new way of doing this or a new way of doing that. Definitely power probe. I use the power probe. Man, I can't tell you how many times. If I'm doing electrical, if I'm doing an electrical repair on a truck, 90% of the time I'm going here just to check power really quick. Um, I like the cables; they're long. If I have to do resistance checks, obviously I'm going to grab the meter. You can't do that with this. Um, it depends on the situation. Sometimes I'd only use that. Sometimes I have to use that. Regardless, if you guys have to do any electrical repairs. You guys gotta check out this kit. It's 150 bucks. They're freaking awesome, but they're the exact terminals you guys need. They're the female, male, even the small PCM pins. Even pins smaller than that. Where is it? I've never even used these ones yet. Like, where in the heck is that? Oh man. Definitely gotta get it. Definitely worthwhile. Um, Got some good harness tape. Well, actually, this is old six liter recall tape. Um, gosh, that was a long time ago. Fusible links, all my zip ties. Um, I like to keep everything nice and stock. If some of these bust off, I'll re secure the harness into its uh, hole where it was, you know, where it was originally from. Um, I don't like to have a vehicle look like I worked on it at all. Got to keep it stock. Level three, excuse me, kind of a specialty drawer. Um, magnets, stuff that I'd use on the fly. 6-0, 6-0, got to have your mirror. 6-4, uh, another torque wrench. I'm going to use this torque wrench more than any, any of the torque wrenches I've already showed you, so I keep that on. Definitely got to have some long picks. Um, definitely good. I use this one probably the most. If you guys are doing hella def repairs. Now, I could have bought the kit, but I don't need the kit. All I need is a four millimeter lawn boy so that I can get that pump out without having to, you know, pick out the four millimeter in here. So just trying to save some time, just bought, bought that. Uh, blow guns, uh, these things to crimp off your your hoses. Uh, I'm trying not to swear right now because I'm just casually want to f this and f this. Oh, this is uh, this is uh, you know fucking this and this and this. Um, do engines. The six sevens come with caps over the intake ports, so I like to save these to cover the stuff when I am doing repairs obviously you guys can tell with those two um, fourth drawer downs are power drawer um, I can actually probably take some of this stuff out not really using a whole lot of air tools unless I got some stubborn boy um, but uh, just the necessary oil change stuff got to get our def our def cap off um, got to have the Milwaukee in every drawer uh, fifth drawer down, ding, fifth level. Gloves, silicone, you guys can check this out. I like it, it's got a light, 
really dig that. This is one of the first things I bought too. I needed a good kit. Um, gotta have the other type of air inflator because I like having this when I'm doing dualies. This one I cannot get on. Actually, Milwaukee was just here, a rep was talking about an air, uh, M18 air uh, inflator, and one of the questions was, uh, what kind of end do you want? Dude, I want this end. So let's freaking make it happen, eh? Um, last drawer, gotta have this. I used this probably three times already this week. Gotta keep it charged in the cold temps. Um, pulling cabs, gotta have um, zip ties. Gotta have, I'm having a mind blank here. Uh, yeah, those things. I don't know why I can't think of the name of them. Uh, what, what the hell are these things called? Freaking, I can't even think right now. Air vac. Uh, if you're filling up your cooling systems, especially no diesels, only the three liter diesel in the F-150 Transit. Any Super Duty 6.7, you do not have to use this. Don't waste your time. You don't need it. Only the cars and smaller stuff really requires this. But, uh, um, gotta love this. Milwaukee in every drawer. I love it. I use this a lot. Um, use this a lot. This works really well. Um, gotta have some starting fluid for those stubborn, those stubborn trucks. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and paint. This is what I spray on all of my battery terminals. I love it. It keeps corrosion down. Don't have any problems with, uh, those terminal ends getting all nasty and corroded. So definitely spray some black spray paint on there. That's an ode to my boy, Ace Boogie. So that's about it with the tools. Um, remember to treat your Scorpion nice. Motorcraft's number one. I don't know what else to say. I hope you guys liked it. Um, again, I don't sell parts, but I have a pretty big cache of thanks Chris of stuff that uh, each shelf's got its own corresponding box for each engine small smaller real big we like we like the 6.0 um, I'm talking like O-rings that you can't get anymore. If anybody needs anything, hey, reach out to me. I'll see if I can help you out, get you that part that you're missing. Um, and thanks for watching the channel. So till next time, for all you guys out there watching, drop me a like, subscribe, tell me what you think in the comment section below of what you guys think of my tools and what I use every day. And uh, yeah, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next Friday.